um, and then I have three screws one screw here one second and the third screw boom this thing come out easily right let me just show you here oops just like that. just like that right so don't worry about the core, about, about all the wiring it's like it's pretty straightforward it's all color code so you have three green yellow and blue they actually connect this uh see these three black holes here so normally we have three wires come out come out like fr uh, from the motor and i actually pulled them apart to make it easier for the video so you know you don't see them then here but yeah that's where they connect to and then you have a black connector and a hole right so the black connector connects this this black connector here and the white connector connects to the hole that you see there right everything you see here is sealed with white silicone right so which makes it pretty easy uh, because this is black and alloy and when you see white white stands out so you know uh, where to scratch like i used this thing to, to 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 scrap the thing out so i could unplug every single connector yeah it takes a bit of time that's why i did it before the video um yeah well well you're just gonna be patient and do it carefully right um cool. controller pull apart nothing wrong with the controller we're looking for mechanical issues mechanical issues so i'm um, at the moment no access nothing I, I have no access to anything here right which is a bit worried because i need to get this thing out so i can start checking for things so this is the reduction gear and this is what makes a very fast motor spin to the uh, a proper uh human cadence for to, to because this connects to the wheel so right so this is just a gearing right whatever um and then you got uh, let me just turn it around and then you got four screws here one two three four and then this thing will come up not that easy as i'm showing here because the the this three wires this is a three-phase motor right so all these three wires will be glued to this hose so you carefully pulling them pulling them they're pretty tough but of course you're gonna be careful this is like electronics right and you be careful you can pull so the, uh there's a silicone protection here for the uh for the connector insulation for the connector i actually kept them here they come off like a like a sleeve or something like that cool so you get this thing out it's a bit painful but you manage when you if you get to this point uh right so you can start check some internal gearing here right so this is the motor that's the first thing i'm checking here right it looks fine you got white grease the white grease it looks pretty like it doesn't look gray so it, it it's it's good right so if you see something gray or dirt means that like you're gonna replace the uh there's something going wrong there and plus you're gonna get a new grease there right cool everything seems fine here this is the motor man this is the heart of the thing this tiny th look at the size of my hand this thing is 750 watts one horsepower man one horsepower right here man right uh, the strongest cyclist can put up to 400 watts a normal cyclist put put up on, on 200 watts of you know, pedaling right this tiny thing is 750 watts if you run it at 57 volts like i'm doing uh, with 25 amps you're actually getting 1425 watts that's what i'm doing right so 
I suspected that it, the plastic internal gearing was completely fucked. Right, because it's metal against plastic. So I was like, right, plastic is a problem, <laughs> of course. Mm, but not too sure. So, right, so I want to open, I want to check everything. Like, I got to this point, right, cool. So, you're going to find here, let me turn to the camera. So you're going to find one, two screws, and then you're going to see there's a little cut here, right? So there's an actually a rubber covering the third hole. Get this thing, pull it apart, and then you unscrew. One, two, three. Boom. Great. So getting here, you're going to uh, notice that we have oops, one two three small screws here like holes with screws and you're like mm, what's the four great so you get one of these screws here you, you you just got from the uh from the frame and then i'm just gonna get here so i can show you and then you can screw here in this hole that way so you're gonna put three one in each tiny hole right so in this way this is going to help to get this thing because it's in high, like really, really high pressure here. So it's a, a metal pin inside the bearing, right? So you get this thing like you're going to, so this is basically helping you to get this thing out, right? You can't do it by hands, but <laughs> it's really tight. Plus you're going to be doing like two or three turns here, two or three turns here, two or three turns there. So like it come up come out evenly otherwise you could you might crack it if you put like too much to one side and nothing to the other side right so you're gonna do evenly right so you get this thing out just like i'm doing here check in there everything seems okay white grease everything seems beautiful cool cool i don't see any issue apparently right so you get this thing here and then you have access to the plastic gear, man. That's what I'm looking for. It looks okay. Got the white grease, everything. Right, so that's the pin that connects, that goes all the way here, right? So I was like, yeah, I want to get it. That, that's why I'm opening everything, right? So I want to get this pin out. So just forcing this thing here, boom everything come out right and then oh right so I noticed that this thing looked really really ugly let me see if you can bring near the camera near the light right don't know if you can see everything looked so wrong so wrong nothing looks straight here from this angle everything seems fine but when you look from the side this just doesn't match uh, you might see now in the camera and then i was like wow that's the problem that i got in this bike man that's the problem that's the pin with the problem <laughs> right get this pin out here get this thing out as well Oops. Yep. Oh. It's a bit hard to do with one hand, sorry. Uh, holding the camera. Right, so that thing's here. And so you got everything apart. And then now the only thing left is the white plastic gear 